<laughs> it seems to be how I open. It seems to be how I open videos. <laughs> Um, happy Monday. Happy new start to a new studio vlog day. Um, last week when I was doing the end of my last vlog, I don't even know that I mentioned that I finished the daisy painting. Um, so here she is, all nice and complete and finished. <laughs> um, I'll put, like, I'll do, I'll pan uh, close up, but this color, um, was originally going to be a lot darker, um, ultramarine blue, if you remember, but it felt too dark. Um, so I mixed ultramarine blue with white and a little bit of neon pink, and it actually made a very nice, I call it cornflower blue, because it looks a lot like the blue that I used, um, in the shadows of the flowers, even though I mixed it, so <laughs> uh, it feels nice. Um, yeah, and then I did pink sides, baby pink, soft pink sides. Um, and I think my favorite part is this little tiny midget fly or whatever it is. It's like super tiny because these are daisies, obviously, so they're small flowers. And then for that guy to be <laughs> that small. Um, Anyway, uh, I'm very happy that the daisy painting is done. Um, another collection for the memories of my grandma's garden. Um, collection that I'm doing. I'll put a picture of all the canvases that I have done so far. Um, there are now four. Um, I think they look really cute together. I'm just looking at the strawberries up on the wall. Still my favorite. <laughs> uh, although, although this rose painting is creeping up there in terms of favorites. So here's a little close up. All the little flowers. I don't know, I can't remember if I showed you this already. There's the little the little friend, the little flower friend. <laughs> um yeah. Really, really happy with this one. So let's put this aside and talk about what we're going to work on today. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, you can't really see that very well, can you? Is that better? That's better, yes. <laughs> so <clears throat> this is what we're going to work on today. I worked on it um, yesterday. It's a still life that I took a photo for. It has some of my favorite things, my little grandma doll, my little cheetah, and strawberry clay thing that I made, my water bottle, sketchbook, book, pens, neo colors. Um, this came about because Kristen, hello Kristen, Kristen Hastings, um, on her Substack newsletter, she shared that she was working on some still lifes, um, and she was following a process from Not Sorry Art. Her name is, the artist's name is Sorry, I don't know her last name but I will definitely link um, her YouTube channel below and specifically the very detailed in-depth process video where she talks about her modern still life um, painting with acrylic process, um, which this is a direct result from. <laughs> um, it's just a very, very informative video and the amount of detail that she goes in, um, she's, a, she's an artist, she also teaches, um, and she's a great teacher. So um, when I do paintings, like the daisy painting that I just showed you and all the other ones for my, the memories from my grandma's garden collection that I'm working on and other things, especially when I'm painting with acrylic on canvas, I usually do a very detailed sketch on my iPad, um, either from reference or um, if I take a photo myself, then I'll trace um, the photo and make any changes that I want to during the sketching stage and then I'll print that out, you've seen it, um, title it on the canvas and then use contact, uh, sort of carbon paper to trace that onto the canvas so that there's like a really detailed, um, 
sketch that I can then work on filling in with paint and everything like that. This is not that. <laughs> um, this is definitely not that. This is going in... So first of all, the background. I followed Sari's um, violently neon green um, background color, which is just really, really fun to work on. Um, it's a mix of neon yellow and teal um, is how I got that color. I don't have a neon green, but it worked perfectly. Um, and then I took some neon pink and just really roughly sketched in. I'll put a picture up of just the sketching stage, um, the bones of the still life from, I have, I'll have my iPad up beside me while I'm working. Um, and so I just sketched it based off the photo and just really, really rough. Um, trying to find the placement of everything, which I did not get right. I might have to move some things around. Like, um, this is too close here. And there's something weird in here, and grandma's a little bit too short. Um, all things that are fixable, I think, I hope. <laughs> um, after the sketching stage, I went in and did some big blocks of color. Um, like, there's really no shading or anything. I mean, so sorry. First, I put in the shadows, like the darkest value. And then I put in the big blocks of color. And then I put in the white background, which is not white. <laughs> um, various shades of very, very light pink and very, very light purple and very, very light blue. Um, but reads kind of white. Um, and obviously there's still a lot of background showing and obviously there's still a lot of work to do. So that is what I'm going to work on today. I'll show you, um, I'll pop up pictures of the various stages, um, but this is where I left it yesterday because it was time to stop. <laughs> and as Sari says, it's good to take some time away and then come back with fresh eyes. So this is me with fresh eyes. Um, and let's work on it. I'm using um, acrylic paint. So I have this Masterson's Stay Wet Handy Palette. <laughs> but I always forget that I have. Um, and it's great for acrylic paint because you can put it out and then, crossing my fingers, the paint is still wet. Oh my gosh. Yes, the paint is still wet. Like, that's like fresh, um, fresh out of the tube wet. That's amazing. Okay. I never trust that it's going to work. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, what else? I made... I made a glass palette, um, which is really nice for mixing acrylic paint on. Um, just gonna get everything situated here. And I put a whole bunch of, there's masking tape and then there's some sort of fancy tape that Ray uses for um, DJ Giggs gaffers tape maybe, I don't know, some sort of cloth tape around the edge so that when I set it down on the table and everything, it's nice and padded and protected. Um, brush, I'm going to use this flat brush. This is a snap stroke brush in, it says, uh, one, it's a half inch, half inch brush. So that's what I've used for, um, all of this so far. Got some water. And let me move, um, oh yeah, and, uh. I'll pull up the picture on my iPad so it can sit beside here. And I'll probably, I don't know. I was going to say I'll probably turn on some music, but I don't know how much chatting I want to do to you, with you. There's, here's, here's the picture. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'll um, put a picture of it here up on the screen for you so that if you want to follow along on my process. And then I also have this sheet of paper that <laughs> uh, is an abandoned, uh, there's an abandoned sketch on there, but I'm using that to clean off my brush um, to avoid putting as much acrylic paint in water as possible because that's not good. So let me reposition you. I have no idea if any of this was in shot so far uh, so that you can see what I'm painting here kind of from behind me and we'll get painted. Okay, we're gonna try this and see oh, 
it goes, you're like right under my chair. So like your, your legs are right under my chair. Um, and I'm gonna try not to knock you. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> um, I don't know how long that was, but I don't know that I can paint any more today. Um, I don't know that I really resolved anything that I was trying to resolve anyway, but I think I got it. Like, I like it. I like where it's at. Um, obviously, it's not done, and obviously things are still too close, but I think it's... I don't think I'm skilled enough to move those things. So for my first attempt at this um, process and technique of still life painting, 
uh, without the bones that I'm used to. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go with it. I know it's not. I know it's not right, but um, I'm really liking where it's at. I moved from this half inch brush down to a number eight shader brush. This is a Princeton uh, Art and Brush Co. brush. Just really, uh, I think it's a cheapo, cheap, well, I mean, I don't spend a lot of money on brushes, but my parents gave me these ones, uh, a little set of these ones for Christmas. Um, but it's nice. Good enough. It's nice enough. <laughs> I don't know that I need anything better. Um, but I had to go down to get into some of the little uh, small spaces and things like that. So this is probably one I'm going to be working on throughout the week. Um, I'll keep filming a little bit, but I'll definitely give you progress updates. Um, and you will see how it comes together. But I don't think it's very far off. Um, I think I just need to start putting in a little bit more detail, like um, the wrappers on the Neo colors, the ones that have them, um, and a little bit of color variation on those. You'll see I chopped this one down a little bit. Um, details on the strawberries, on the leopard. The pens are pretty good, I think, but they just need a little like stronger highlights. Try to get the sticker better. <laughs> Um, the details on the book. This is uh, Keith Haring's Journals book um, that I've been meaning to read for over a year now. Oh, this guy needs a top. Put the top on him. <laughs> so look at the picture and see what's what's wrong. I really like how her feet, um, this is a wooden doll. Um, I really like how her feet are there. <laughs> Uh, I think I mentioned before, but we found her on the ground, this little doll, and she looks identical to my grandma. So it's really uh, a really little special doll. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it there, clean up this mess, and relax for the evening. Okay, um, but I will see you tomorrow. Okay, hello everyone. I think I've got everything sorted out and ready to go. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome to the February, the first February Scribble Brigade. <laughs>
So I just finished um, the painting. Taped it up on my on uh, taped it up on my wall. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. It was really, really, really fun. Uh, really fun to paint. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the process. I think this video is like 30 minutes already, so I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed. I know there wasn't a lot of variety, really, although you did see some scribbles from yesterday from Sophie's Scribble Brigade, which I will link um, her website below, which you can get to her Instagram and Patreon and YouTube and everything. I'm sure if you're watching my videos, you know who Sophie is. <laughs> um, she is the queen bee that we all buzz around. Um, a big heart sparkle that just makes life fun uh, and encourages you to do such things. Um, even though, so this was, uh, I mentioned before, uh, sorry, not sorry art on YouTube here. Um, I have <coughs> her video also linked below. Check it out. Try, try it. <laughs> um, try it. it is so fun. It is so fun. I already have um, plans to start another one. I'm going to do another still life um, for the Memories of Grandma's Garden collection. And I'm going to go to the grocery store and get a bunch of vegetables <laughs> uh, and fruit and do a... Uh, do a garden-inspired still life. That will be part of the collection, which I think will be pretty fun. Um, but I'm really happy with how loose I was able to keep it. Um, some people might think it's not finished um, with the background still popping through in different spots and stuff, but I love that. I love it so much. Um, but I also think it's like rendered well enough. Like you can see what everything is, what it's supposed to be, the impression of uh, the Art Hang Party sticker and the Super Creative sticker and the Sophie Mix Bike mcpike sticker on, on uh the water bottle um the neo color twos which squint enough and it looks like a neo color two um the little details on the book and stuff uh just really really happy um really really happy with it anyway i hope you enjoyed watching the first half of my arty week <laughs> um tomorrow is thursday art hang party 7 p.m eastern standard time right here on youtube um the stream, the live stream is scheduled, so make sure to hit the notify button. Um, that is a big help, actually. That's a really big help when you do that um, on live streams. I think it shows the level of pre-interest in it, and then YouTube's like, hey, I should show this to more people. So <laughs> um, please, if you can, uh, hit that notify button. Um, also, like and subscribe and comment and all of those things. Um, really, really helpful. Um, the... The stretch to proper YouTube monetization is on. I have less than a thousand watch hours to hit, so the more that you watch my videos, the closer I get to that. Um, you're sitting on my lap right now, just in case you're wondering why the computer the camera is <laughs> moving. Um, and yeah, I just need to hit a thousand subscribers. Um, you can see I'm close to that, uh, but still a bit of a stretch. Um, anyway, and then I'll start getting the ad revenue. So the more that you can watch my videos, the more you come to Art Hang Party um, and watch along either live or replays. All the replays are up there for you. Um, will be great. Anyway, this is a really fun, uh, really fun painting process. Like I said before, I'm so used to having like a really planned out sketch for my paintings. Like the MF Doom painting here obviously is uh, was sketched out. Um, and everything precisely beforehand. Um, but I just think this is so fun. So get ready for more. Get ready for more, more um, <laughs> of these. Because um, it was just fun. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out. Um, let me know how your week is going. It's only Wednesday still. But um, anyway, I want to want to hear from you and how you're doing. Have you had any painting breakthroughs or any fun little things uh, happening? Okay. Um, I'll keep filming everything. Obviously, I'm going to keep filming. So <laughs> I will see you Thursday and then I will see you soon. Okay. Bye. <laughs>